Abigail, so what exactly is going on? Have we bottomed? Is there a peak there somewhere? I think it's too early to call. I think that we're looking at, I think the most interesting thing is we're looking at a contraction in housing, and yet it doesn't seem to be tanking the broader economy or the markets. On the other hand, if you look at last year, you can make the case that rising rates really pushed on housing uh, and then did tumble into the market to some degree. But I think the basic tension is that there's this idea that, yes, housing is uh, stabilizing. But if you look at starts, they did beat the estimate. They are above that revised down number from uh, the month of March, but they're a 400,000 off of the 1.8 million peak for the pandemic. And you all know that I love a chart. The chart of starts looks like it's going to continue going down. It doesn't look like it has found a bottom. So there's a real tension, I would say, between the market expectation that there is some sort of stability and the Fed. We just don't know. I mean, the big bet on real estate is the Fed and rates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And that's been a big driver. But I am curious if maybe you can separate the housing market itself and these home builder stocks which have been on Love fire your question and, and, and it's like I, every time I do it I'm always perplexed and I ask this question to so many people and they always say look it's, it's just a this is totally different ball game when you're talking about home builders it, well it, so I it's great because I was just talking to Doug Krisner of Asia radio oh, yeah, we were yeah. talking back and forth on this and I think you really have to separate them so housing starts and the demand for homes it is clearly coming down any way you look at it, existing homes 30% down housing starts now down 20% case Shiller prices is down about 6%. Yeah. The home builders, on the other hand, they are up, some of them, 60 to 90% from last year's peak. Now, what makes it interesting is they're very overbought relative to the 200-day moving average. When that's happened in the past, it looks like there's going to be some consolidation, which suggests to me there's going to be some kind of bumps ahead, whether it's the Fed mm. or if it's the debt ceiling or some other kind of uncertainty. Yeah. But the interesting thing here is valuation, trough level valuation. So it's at a trough level valuation for a reason. If you go home builder by home builder, they look attractive attractive on a valuation perspective, but is it for a reason because there's more weakness to come or is it a buy? I think it's probably a little bit of both and I think it's too early to know. I mean, people yeah. think that the Fed's going to cut. I don't think we know that. Yeah, I was just looking at the RSI on X, uh, XHB, uh, the main yes. uh, ETF. But I think what's more important, it's elevated, but it's on like a flat line. Like it's not even oscillating very much. It's I, basically just I like there. your technical skills there, because I can that. see your chart. Can I be yes. a CMT one day? Yeah, maybe you are right now. And, <laughs> and it, is, it is stabilizing there. Yeah. That's, a, that's a great point. <laughs> so that's the other thing. I mean, there seems to be endless appetite in certain locations, no matter certain what's locations. going on. And then there seems to be endless appetite in as, as, you know, certain sectors of the housing market and then perhaps none elsewhere. Will some of the home builders survive that and others then perhaps collapse? That's a great point because I think that there is some, so a lot of the hot markets like Arizona, Seattle, Nevada that really blew up, Tennessee during the pandemic, they've seen coming in. And then where I've been looking to buy some sort of small uh, place uh, upstate, which is where I'm from, it's completely stable. I mean, there's all kinds of crazy cash bids going in and prices are still high. So it's really market by market. So I think that in terms of the home builders where they're low Located. Some of them that are more diversified are probably going to be a little bit better. I think something that the home builders are doing right now that's they learned from the the global financial crisis, the home, the um, the housing bubble. Mm -hmm. They don't. They have not been building on spec like they did back then. A lot of housing home builders back then got caught with hundreds of houses that they had built on spec and then mm -hmm. had to sell at a discount. They're also managing the amortization and the depreciation of land a lot better. They haven't been sitting with a, much, a lot of land. Yeah. So these home builders are managing the situation better. I would say too. Hmm.